Autumn Johnson here for NCAA Digital, and I have another all-time starting five for you. This time, let's create a dream team for the University of Tennessee. The legacy runs deep in Knoxville. We've seen some of the greatest talent in women's basketball history suit up in Tennessee Orange. The Lady Bulls have eight NCAA titles, which is the second most championships in NCAA Division I women's basketball. Considering that, this wasn't an easy process, and I know I might catch some heat for leaving out some names, but hey, let's give it a shot anyways. In my backcourt, I'm starting with Holly Warlick, a hometown Knoxville legend who played from 1976 to 1980. The three-time All-American paved the way as one of the first greatest players to make an impact on this program under late Hall of Fame head coach Pat Summit. She helped the Lady Bulls make it to three Final Fours, plus secure the program's first SEC title in 1980. Warlick was known to be a playmaker. Till this day, the floor general is the second all-time in career assists. Defense was also crucial to Warlick's game as she currently holds the record for most steals in a single season. Warlick was the first Tennessee athlete to have their jersey retired, and rightfully so. Next, I'm adding Kara Lawson to my backcourt. She was a leader for this team from 1999 to 2003. Lawson helped her team to three Final Fours and claimed four consecutive SEC titles along the way. The versatile guard became one of Tennessee's best passers at six all-time in assists. Lawson was also a pure shooter who was constantly looking to knock down her shot. She became dangerous beyond the arc, earning second all-time in career three-point percentage. She is currently sixth all-time in scoring. At the charity stripe, Lawson owns the record of third all-time in career free throw percentage. Now this is where it gets tough. The range of players down low was hard to pick from, but here goes nothing. In my front court, I'm putting in Tamika Catchings, who played from 1997 to 2001. Remember Tennessee's first undefeated campaign and national championship in 1998? That was in Catching's rookie year. She was one of the reasons why the Lady Bulls were so unstoppable, pouring in 711 points that season, earning the freshman scoring record. Catchings is just one of two Tennessee players to be named All-American four times. She was also one of two UT players with more than 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. We'll get to that other player shortly. The AP Player of the Year was relentless in the paint as the fourth all-time in scoring and sixth all-time in rebounds. She is also third all-time in steals. My next forward is the most decorative lady ball in this lineup. Legendary Shamika Holtzclaw, who dominated from 1995 to 1999. Holtzclaw was one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game and instantly became a superstar. She was named Naismith Player of the Century, leading her team to three consecutive championships. In 98, she was a part of the Lady Bulls' first ever undefeated championship season with catchings. The four-time All-American can be found all over Tennessee's record books. She's the all-time leader in scoring and rebounding, which makes her the only Lady Bull we hinted to earlier, who has over 3,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. Plus, she's fourth all-time in assists. And to complete this dream team is the iconic Candace Parker, who played from 2004 to 2008. The six foot four Ford's athleticism was incredible. As a big, Parker could do it all having skills of a guard, which made her dangerous at all areas of the court. And if you think that's impressive, she could also dunk, slamming it down seven times in her career. Parker earned the most outstanding player at the Final Four in both back-to-back -back national championship seasons. She is the third all-time leading scorer and fastest player to 1,000 points. She owns the record of career blocks and UT's single season record for free throws. She is also the eighth all-time leading rebounder. These legends were led by the late Hall of Fame head coach Pat Summit, whose resume and legacy speaks for itself. She retired in 2012 with the most wins in NCAA history. In Summit's 38-year reign, she led UT to all eight of its NCAA titles, 31 consecutive NCAA tournaments, 18 Final Fours, and 16 SEC regular season and championship titles. That's it for my Tennessee all-time starting five. Who would be in your starting five? Let us know and follow all things women's basketball on NCAA.com and NCAA Women's Basketball Social.